Hi, I'm Kent German, Senior Managing Editor at CNET. I'm here to talk about the LG Optimus Elite. This is a new phone for Sprint. Now, you're probably saying to yourself that you've seen a million Optimus phones, and well, you have. Actually, that's not quite true. It's more about a dozen or so. But there have been quite a few of these phones of all sizes, all shapes, all capacities, and feature sets. Uh, the first was the LG Optimus 1, which came out for Sprint as the LG Optimus S quite a while ago. But now we have the Optimus Elite. Now, the Elite in the name is a little interesting because there's really not a whole lot of the Elite about it. it doesn't have the, it's not like the 3D Max that we saw recently where it has a three, fancy 3D graphics. It's not like the other Optimus phones we saw at Mobile Congress. This is a pretty average Android phone. It runs Gingerbread. It runs on 3G. It has an 800 megahertz processor. What's more about this phone is just about functionality, and it is about its eco-friendly design. Uh, the phone's made of recycled plastic. It doesn't have anything harmful in it. The box is made of recycled material as well. So on the whole, a pretty basic design. Very, very, very simple, actually. Really straight lines, just a couple curves here and there. Okay display, not the greatest resolution. Does have 16 million colors. Has five home pages for your customization needs. So you can pop in icons, widgets, whatever you like. And uh, down on the bottom, you see touch controls, normal Android touch controls. There's home, there's back, there's menu, and there's search. Up on the top, there's a 3.5 millimeter headset jack. There's a power control. Over here, there's a volume rocker. And on the bottom, there's the micro USB port. So you can use that for a charger or a syncing cable. On the back, you have the uh, flash, the lens for the 5 megapixel camera, and a self-portrait mirror. You don't see the mirror a lot these days, so it's nice to see. It just helps with those vanity shots. Take the back off, and you will find the micro SD slot. You don't have to take the battery out, too, which is nice, but you do have to take the battery cover off. The battery cover is plastic, which isn't the best, uh, but I like the textured material. Overall, the phone weighs a little over 4 ounces, so it does have a pretty solid feel in the hand. As this is a touchscreen phone, you'll have a virtual dial pad and a virtual keyboard. Virtual keyboard shows all the gingerbread enhancements. It does offer swipe as well, so if you're into that, you can use it. Features inside, pretty standard, 5 megapixel camera. It's actually pretty nice. It has quite a few editing options, and it does have a decent photo quality. Uh, it does have Google Wallet, which is uh, something I didn't expect, especially on a phone of this caliber, so that means you'll be able to use it if you can find any place that accepts Google Wallet, of course, but you'll be able to use it for payment. So it has NFC, so you can use it for other tags as well, so you know, for movie posters or business cards or anything like that. The phone does have visual voicemail, so if you get a voicemail in, it does transcribe it into text. Works pretty well. It's not real stickler for punctuation, so if you're grammar or not, I wouldn't get too uh, outraged about it. But it is nice for drivers that you can just check your phone, see who called and what they say, because, of course, if you don't have a headset, you shouldn't be answering your phone in the car. Other features, you have the standard Google applications, they have messaging and email. You have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, so you're pretty mid-range feature set, except for Google Wallet. Uh, solid, functional, concentrated on communication, little play here and there. Of course, there's a music player. Um, does have some Sprint apps. Fortunately, you can remove a lot of them. You can't remove the Sprint ID app, which is annoying because i never a fan of that. Uh, felt, it feels a little like bloatware. It makes, lets you customize your phone, so uh, you'll have to ignore it if you can. Pricing is $29 with a two-year contract and a mail-in rebate. Uh, the phone also comes with Virgin Mobile, where you're going to pay a bit more, but of course, that uh, is not without a contract. I think that price is $149. As Optimus phones go, pretty low into the pack. As Android phones go, a little more mid-range, but uh, is a simple Android device performed well, but we just don't expect a lot from it. I'm Kent German, and this is the LG Optimus Elite for Sprint.